Hello and welcome to this reaction of Twisted Metal. I am Chris and in today's episode we are going to be watching season one episode 10. Uh, this is the finale of the first season. If they even get a second season, I haven't looked and seen if they are. But to this point, uh, John and Quiet have been on again, off again, fighting and working together. In the last episode, we saw the old truckers that they linked up with a while back. And now we're basically going to fight Stone and the marshals or the police, whatever. Sweet Tooth is there, who they have good rapport with, and this little group of truckers. So it's kind of like two people going up against Stone and his people. So be interesting to see where it goes. So without further ado, let's get to the episode. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. Plus that guy's a man. Time is set in the clouds. Let's clear a path. Driving and striving as fast as they can. <laughs> what the video game was, wasn't it? Stupid stuff like this. Oh! Better get that hatchet back. Fuck, that was cool. Shit! Ah! Jello, Lawman! <laughs> Why do you always say Jello like that? That means goodbye. What? No, it doesn't. It's a dessert, you moron. No, it's inside a slang. A dude said it after dinner before he. Oh God damn it! Before he gave you a dessert. <laughs> ah, looks really good. No, I'm just trying something new. Hey, aren't you gonna beef with Stone? <laughs> beef? I got a whole butcher shop. Stone is mine. Ta! It's a ta! -ta. <laughs> what a psychopath! Duck, duck, goose! Got some driving skills. <laughs> it's so fake, but so awesome. Good. Morons. Bye. Bye bye. Oh. Where do you think you're going, Stone? You can't hide no. from me. I scream? No. You scream. He is the kind of guy that would burn the world down. Okay, Stewie. Now's your chance to show me your bags. Pull the trigger and put your doggy down. He can't do it. Dude, Mike, let's go! Uh oh. You saved my ass. Uh, I think I skinned my wang. What the fuck? You're dripping eye blood on the hook. Oh, fuck it. Oh! And his car crashed, so Harold. <laughs> oh, is that the end of Sweet Tooth? Holy shit, I think we're gonna make it. I wouldn't. Come on, SUV against a car, that's. You're never gonna win. Unless you do that. John! He ain't dead yet, huh? Well, well, well. It's just you and me again. You know, when I was walking a beat to Topeka, I used to see a piece of trash just like you. Any last words? Knock, knock. Who's there? Is he not dead? Oh, because he hit him in the cheek. Oh. You have a good day now. Motherfucker. That looks miserable. But that means Stone's coming back if they do a season two. When you don't see people die, they come back. Sacrificed herself. Those fuckers are gonna pay. 
tell Raven. The milkman made it. Let's go. Open the gate! All right. I guess we finally get to see what her plan was. This is how milkman deliveries work. Only person making it weird right now is you. Welcome to New San Francisco. It's gonna be just John. Hey, yep. yeah, whoa, hold on, man. Bill, calm down. She's with me. John, she's not allowed to enter. Well, you wouldn't have it if it wasn't for her. Better get, get your ass back in that car and go she away. She can't go in. Fine. I'm not going in either. John, don't do this. You wanted this your whole life, right? Yeah. Then you need to go. Go on. I mean, I don't mind the sacrifice, but that's kind of stupid. We need a new milkman. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I don't know why you just can't have a milkman. Fuck San Diego. Ice cream. Yes. Mm. What do you think? It's fine. Oh. Whoa. So it's time that we start prepping him for his new position? Mm. Not yet. Let him acclimate. Get a feel for the good life inside. Then we'll talk about what comes next. New position? <laughs> He's sleeping in a race car. I don't know why it took me so long to... He's telling me in a month he couldn't figure out how to ride a bike. Fuck you, fuck you. Come on. Why do you make me do this to you? Don't be. That's like Groundhog Day. Doing the same thing every day, huh? Good morning, John. Damn. Why? I got the midnight munchies. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> such a badass, John. Oh, God, you must have like, killed so many people. Uh. Yeah, yeah, a few. Yeah. Uh. Hi. Diane, right? Yeah. Come on. It's okay. I won't bite. Hard. You don't remember me? You do not have clearance to approach. Oh, shit. Bill's replacement. Uh, I didn't even recognize you. Well, most of our face Let was covered, too. Wow. I've never been on the other side of a delivery. I'm supposed to give you something, right? Here you go. Would you prefer gasoline? There is cash right there, dude. You're never gonna get used to that. How would he not be more used to this? I, I'm sorry. I, I get it if this was like day two or three. So this is pizza. You've never had pizza? Oh my God, you've never had pizza? If you're gonna kill me, do it quick, you goddamn vulture. No, vulture, you butt munch. And I don't want to kill you. Your delivery. I want half. I heard of you. You're the one who's been robbing milkmen. I've scratched my taint with twigs bigger than you. Yeah, what are you gonna do when your gun's that far? <laughs> Next one I throw, you'll be driving with your feet. So, half. It's time somebody shared the wealth. You're just gonna leave those there? You know, you guys should probably be painting so those. tell me, how is John adjusting? He's doing great. Uh, we all get along. I, I mean, I think me and the guys would be friends with him whether or not we had to, right, Phyllis? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> John, you want to join us for a beer? No, thanks, Chester. I'm leaving. Yeah. Looks like he was really ready to stay. Something you can't give me. The girl? 
John, you're seriously gonna give all of this up for some chick you knew for 10 days? I've had colds last longer. Her name's Quiet. What the is wrong with you now? It finally happened. I'm talking to a car. <laughs> Where's the didn't die in you? Ooh, how you work. Oil goes in your mouth and fuel goes up your butt. Everything in the middle is, is, makes no sense. And now you understand John's pain. Keep trying pieces until I find one. That... You just tried different pieces so you find the one that fits. This is yours. This is where you grew up. Oh, don't be playing with me. Don't play with me. Wait. When I first heard of John Doe the Milkman, I did a little digging, and when I learned that you had roots here, dug some more. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions, and if you stay, you'll get answers. And a, and a sibling. Okay. <laughs> Why would you tell your son to just leave like that? Dude! It's just like I promised you. I brought you home. Whatever his name is, this isn't me anymore. I found my home out there with quiet. Hmm. Good for you. This is gonna be a tournament. The first of its kind, where the best drivers from all across the country, from all walks of life, are going to be invited to compete. This is twisted metal. Face won't play fair. This is where you come in, John. And I need you to win because Calypso is offering quite a prize. Well, that's not creepy. I've been dying to talk to you. I heard you know my brother. He goes by John. Yo! I don't know if it's getting a season two, but that ending was pretty, pretty nice. Pretty fire, as the kids say. So they set up the actual metal game, which I think is the actual, like, the, the tournament where you just survive, drive and survive. Uh... I do like the TV show, what they did with the TV show better than the actual like tournament for the game. And maybe they can kind of incorporate both. I have a feeling Quiet's going to be the last driver they didn't post. But somehow, somehow John's sister survived. And he didn't get to know his name. Um, Raven is, uh, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's a sneaky little leader, that one an itch with a capital B, huh? Um, so we didn't see Sweet Tooth die. I wrote down did the truckers die, but the one did, so, you know, we, we saw the, the girlfriend survive. And we, never, we didn't see Stone die. We just heard a shot. That doesn't mean anything, especially in, in a world like this. If you don't see the death, it didn't happen, which means anything could have happened. Like, he could have went like this and then just went ah, and shot up in the air, so... It was a really interesting ending. Uh, I, I thought it was kind of dragging in the middle. It was a little bit slow. It felt slow in the middle once he actually got into San Francisco and Quiet was out doing her own thing. But they were setting up that end. So it, it made sense once it got there. But it definitely it went from the fast-paced beginning to literally a standstill while he was living Groundhog's Day. To get to the point where I think they were setting up a season two and hopefully more. This has been a real interesting show. I wish the episodes were just a little bit longer though. Like 40 minute episodes would be great. 40 minute with commercials, you know, like now or 40 minutes and then add the commercials on. But I had fun. It was a fun season. It was interesting. Uh, I, I can't wait to do kind of my season review and talk about it as a whole. But just this episode, I enjoyed it. Except for that middle part again. A little too long, a little too slow. Like every episode's been like 25 minutes. This one was like 34 for some reason. So enjoyable though. 
Uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction with me. So, you know, like, share, subscribe. Find me on Discord in the description box. And until next time, take care.